What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big pop a pump without the pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T B R Terabyte Reacts and I would just like to say you're welcome. Welcome back guys. We are here once again back from about a three month break. I don't, I think it's been like three months since I've done um this manga here, Ippo, and it's not that I lost interest, just I gotta be in the mood to do this manga stuff, man, because it's a lot of reading, and today, I'm going in like fine wine, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna go down smooth, Hope, hopefully I don't choke nobody, but, <laughs> today, I'm doing Hajime no Ippo, of course, you already know, 10 chapters of volumes worth, um, that's what we're going to be doing. We're in the middle of a fight, okay? We're in the middle of a fight. Ippo versus Take Keiichi, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. We're in the middle of the fight, so we're going to pick up from chapter 641, and we're supposed to end off at 650, right? So, let's jump in. Let's not... We know what's going on. The fight is going and, you know, this guy, his strategy is very unique. He's taken a couple blows from Ippo already, but he's still standing. But he's playing the long game, you know what I'm saying? He's hugging Hippo, trying to take away, but he's he's kind of like switching. Um, he's actually a Southpaw, and, and Ippo don't have a lot of experience against a Southpaw. So he's in a lot of ways, he's in trouble right now. So we're going to jump in and see what they have to offer, what they have to say about this, because I want to see. Um, I don't know if the fight is going to end in these 10 chapters, but 10 chapters all I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to make you guys a promise, okay? I'm going to try my best to do this manga, do these mangas um, consistently. That's what I'm saying here. I'm going to try my best to do it consistently. I'm going to do it. I don't want to be doing stuff when I don't want to do it. That's one of the things too. Like the thing about it is that you also got to understand that I talk for a living. I basically talk for a living. It's not what I get paid to do, but it's part of my job. You get what I'm saying? I talk for a living. I mentor people. And even during these quarantine times, I do talk too. And that's what makes it so hard for me to come here and sit down for two hours and talk but this is not an excuse it really is not because i had plenty of times where i could have done it in the past and i just did i just wasn't in the mood you get what i'm saying so there's that also um you know to sit here and do this for two hours i definitely got to be in the mood because i don't want to be here in a bad mood you get what i'm saying or i don't want to be rushing through it you get what I'm saying? So I also want to give you guys your money's worth, even though you're not paying for anything. I just want to give you my time as in because you're here to 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 see what my experience is with this manga. And I know some people were even following along with me getting in the back. I don't know if they've probably read further than, you know, and not waiting on me, of course. But it is what it is. So. um, So I just want to. Um, I just want to let you guys know that I really do appreciate you guys, man. You guys don't understand how much I appreciate y'all for coming through every time and watching this stuff. So we're going to jump over. I'm trying to set up, you know, my screen here before I jump over so just give me a little bit of time because I should have did this preemptively but you know sometimes you get so excited you don't get your shit done okay so 
I need to I need to move not that I need to move the screen yeah I need to move the screen man I need to move it I need to move the screen, baby. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. Um, all right, so let's. Dude, that is kind of weird looking. Like, it doesn't look like it used to look, but whatevs. All right, let's switch over. All right, all right, now it looks better. I guess because it was on a, I had it on a smaller screen, so it looked kind of weird. Um, but anyways, um, this was, I was reviewing what I did, so let's get to um let's let me get to chapter six forty one I was just reviewing that was the last time all right so we got Ippo what's the name of this chapter poison fangs okay so you had the boss manager here talking it's a Kamaguchi what is this? Kamagos? Am I, am I forgetting my character's name? What the hell? <laughs> okay, so we got Take versus Ippo here going on. You know, I thought that he'd manage if he just closed the distance, but, but this guy's really clever. His left. You know, he's putting his body into Ippo and his right, you know, he's trying to, you know, cutting off Ippo's every angle, you know, and Ippo is wondering, where do I hit him from this position? You know, that was a full page spread, so it's not going to show. Um, what gives? Punch him. He's in range. Makanauchi, come on, hit him, hit him. And Ippo is like, what do I do? What do I do? How clever. He's managed to close in and disable both Ippo's arms. But he's in the same position as well. They're too close together for either of them to make any hits. In a way, this is no different than if he was still clinching. He makes it look like a close range fight, but he's really running away, says Itagaki. He... He, um, he knows what will happen if he goes into an infight after trading punches with Senpai in the first round. And he knew that he would have gotten a penalty for holding if he kept on clinching normally too. His plan is well thought out. At their present positions, he can't knock him down, but there's also no worry of Ippo getting knocked down. It's like, so Aoki says, you think so? Uh. Kimura says, it's like Takesan has caught Ippo in a thread. He can't see. I don't think that using the southpaw style is his only plan. I just can't help but think that he's got something else in mind. If you ask me, Ippo's like a fly caught inside a spider's web. So what can he do now that he's caught then? How the hell am I supposed to know? <laughs> says Aoki he's like you're comparing that old man to a spider in that case all spiders inject their prey with venom once they're in their web and he's like with venom what was it 22 wins 15 of those were by KO right he's got a decent amount of knockouts there says Takamura 22 wins and 15 KOs, that means about 70% of his wins are by KO. 70%? No way! How can he throw a knockout punch from that position? You never know. He might have something 
some poisonous fangs. No way can he. What could he possibly hit him with? It's my range. Even if it's too rough, when push comes to shove, I have to hit him. Take actually has 66-68% of his wins coming by way of knockout. However, half of Ippo's post-rookie king components have had a higher KO per win percentage. They are Kazuki Sanada. Um, okay, so he's basically saying that people has had better win percentage um, that Ippo has gone up again. So it's not really a big factor. I get it. Okay, so it's like my right. It doesn't matter if he blocks it. So Ippo is trying to punch Take. It's like when he opens up his guard, I'll be able to take him from there. That's the spirit kill. Take the initiative. Oh, shit. Oh, he pushed Ippo's hand away. And he's like, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting for this moment. What moment? Holy shit. What? It, did he bring that punch from yo bro that angle is crazy this angle that he turned his shoulder like that there's no way you can you're not gonna see that punch coming bro you are not going to see that punch coming bro what it's like a left uppercut and the champ's face flies into the air he's good what I sure let that one slip. <laughs> it's like, and once again, they rush into each other. So, so Ippo tried to punch him and he came with the punch again at the champion's chest level. The challenger rotates his arms and folded up body. Got him again because he can't see the punch coming. From the angle that the dude is at, you cannot see that punch coming, bro. It's a very unorthodox way to punch somebody, too. It's like a short uppercut. That's three in a row now. Damn, he hit him three times with that uppercut. It's like the champion spits out some blood. The angle at which that punch is coming from is hard to, t to dodge it, even. He goes for a fourth one, but the champ tilts his head back and dodges, okay? He tries to fight back. But with his body pressed against him, he's only able to hit the challenger's back. And he takes another one. And the champion's jaw is sent flying as the bell rings. That's all for round two, folks. The crowd's breath is taken away as the easy hometown victories turn into a very bloody title defense. And he even staring down Ippo now as it looks like he does have poisonous fangs. The champ's natural habitat is an infight, and yet Makanauchi Ippo is clearly struggling with it. Alright. Next chapter. Wow, that's crazy, man. I think I put this thing over too much. Let me put it back over a bit. Put it over too much. Alright. Hippo. That's a full page spread. Let me see if I'm going to read it from somewhere else because I can't pull it over. The blood dripping from the champion's mouth tells the tale of this unexpected turn of events. Who could have ever imagined that this would happen? He's lost at his own specialty. In fighting, Makano Uchiippo has been reduced to this? If the crowd is like, you can't be serious. And I thought this would be a piece of cake too. They were close enough to duke it out. 
But that Makana Uchi didn't do a thing. No, it was all because... It was all because Take didn't tell him. Tell him do any... What? Didn't... Oh, didn't let him do anything. There's still someone in the country that can take Makana Uchi on in an infight? This is totally unexpected. <laughs> that was Dad's round. He really took it to him. That's right. Dad's doing his best. All right. He'll take the next one too. He'll take it all the way to the end. So Take's son is in the crowd cheering him on. It's like, you can do this, Dad. He's like, did you hear that? He's sweating bubbles out here. What's going on? He's like, in this next round, I'm going to power up and give it three times the strength. That's what I like to hear, says his coach. He's like, he throws a killer uppercut. Ippo's mouthpiece is covered in blood. While a single attack won't bring him down, he may get knocked out. If he keeps on getting hit by those punches, he'll be beaten. Could Hippo Kun really be... I mean, I don't doubt it if he could be beaten. I don't want him to lose this fight. But if it's possible that he that that he could, it is possible he could lose. You know what I'm saying? That's the beautiful thing about this this um this manga, or this show, or this writing is that, you know, anybody could lose at any moment. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Attack on Titan where you don't know if your favorite character is gonna die. You just hope that they don't die, but there's no guarantee they're gonna survive. You get what I'm saying? So I like that aspect in anything that I watch or read, whatever. I like that aspect, that that suspense of, you know, you growing to love a character. And then, you know, in this is not a sense of dying, but it's a sense of losing, you know. So stupid kid, you're playing right into his hands. Don't let the clinches and the southpaw style get to you. Don't get distracted by his mind games. Take doesn't have particularly long reach. Ultimately, he'll end up relying on infighting. In other words, he'll come into your range. It's fine if you get hit at the same time. You won't lose out if it's a power struggle. Be confident and fight it out. He's like, that's right. Ippokun has the power advantage. But, seconds out. Okay, it's time for the next round. It's like, the mouthpiece. He's like, yes, sir. Give it to me now. Like, I'm sorry. He's like, listen, good kid. Pay close attention to your opponent. Get your act together. Don't get distracted and stick your and stick to your style of boxing. Get your act together. I've never seen the coach this frustrated. Maybe he feels it too. This heavy intensity. Round three. It's just indescribable, and he charges straight ahead, right into the nation's beloved power puncher. He rushes in without fear and calls him into an infight. Okay, so Take is charging in. Okay, he's charged in again. It's a slap in the face. No way he'd lose if he exchanged punches. It's like, go for it, Dad. You can do it. You can do it. So Ippo, Ippo hits him. It looks like he blocks it. And he's like, ah. Hippo is like, Hippo, give him a straight, okay. He puts his whole arm into it. That one was a stone cold swing. Okay, puh. <laughs> it's like, That's how it's done. One punch is all you need to take it back. It's like, he's bleeding. Wow. One punch from Hippo, man. He didn't even connect that well. And he still is bleeding, but he blocked it. Yeah, he blocked it. You know what I'm saying? His son in the crowd saying, Dad. It's like, so this dude, Take, is thinking now. He's like, that ain't enough to hurt me when I'm giving it three times more the power. So he dashes below one of Ippo's punches. And he's like, he's really low. Not even Ippo can get to him when he's that low. It's like he's coming. He's thrown in his body as part of the attack. It's the same thing we saw in round two. It's like, don't take that from him, kid. He's in your range. 
throw some goddamn punches at him. It's like, God, so he's like right up in him. He's like, the champ's chest has been lifted up high. He coming with the punch. He's like, he came with the punch. He stopped it. The left uppercut. So Ippo is like, I see you, bitch. Stop doing that shit now. <laughs> He's like, even I knew that was coming. You can't use the same punch forever. It's finally payback time. Oh my god. Did Hippo hit him with a one, two? Yo, what a killer left hook. The sound electrifies Kurika Ken Hall. If that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> you got him, says the coach. And that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> Next chapter. Okay, let's go. With a devastating left hook, a dull sound echoes through the arena. The champion is rocked to the side. Is this the end? I think this is... Wait a second. Nah, this is supposed to say the challenger. Ippo hit him. What do you mean the champion is rocked to the side? What do you mean? Yo, Ippo is staring this dude down. It's like, I'm not backing down. So he comes back up with another uppercut. It looks like he missed. It's like, huh? What? He continued fighting. It's like, hey, the crown is voicing. It's amazement. You shouldn't be surprised. That's the strongest ever. You mean that didn't hurt him? He took the Brat's, the brat's punch from his perfect distance impossible there's no way he could shake it off these hands know that fact all too well what in the world am i watching and yet another hit lands clean once twice his jaw is flung into the air <laughs> his jaw is flung into the air so ippo takes another punch he now protects his jaw with both gloves. The champion is on the defensive. Let me lubricate the throat. <sighs> Delicious. Anyways. He went in again, pushed his body against Ippo again. And his entire body is pushed off the canvas. Gee, he's pretty good. Brilliant. He rewrote the laws of the infighting. The challenger shows an incredible combination. I mean, Date wasn't joking when he said his one man he didn't want to fight. He's like, Gah. ah, damn. The coach is trying to encourage him. Though. He's like, Don't back down, Brad. Keep pushing forward. That distance is your specialty. Don't lose the distance. Don't back down. If you lose your distance, you won't have anything left. Ippo is thinking. He's like, his, his fist can hit me from any angle. If I keep protecting, I'll be nothing but a punching bag. So Ippo decides to attack. And he chops down. He hits the challenger's head from above. He stopped moving. Dad. <laughs> the coach is like, got him. <laughs> like, and he continues with a right hook. And, um, Take steps in. He's like, it hurts my ears just to hear that sound. He got him good. That was the end. Can the challenger take this? He's like, yeah, that was the finisher. The man is still standing. He's like, it didn't work. Damn right it didn't work. <laughs> I like this comment right here under the chapter. This man said, oh my God, why are your hands stopping? The guy's not down yet. Have you been so effing arrogant that you expect your opponent not to cause, to cause you? God, the hall 
all this time because you had a clean hit? That's funny. That's funny. And that's very true. I mean, but it's for it's for dr dramatic effect, of course. We all know this. In a real fight, ain't nobody going to be standing there looking at the guy after they punch him. And they haven't seen that he's done. He's like, it didn't work. It is, is it? He isn't falling even through even through his back I can see his spirit man is looking up at Ippo comes up with the right punch the right uppercut it's like ah again he retaliated this is unbelievable no way this challenger is impervious to the champion's fist <laughs> this is impossible why doesn't it face him he's coming Wah. He tries to fend him off with a left, but the challenger dodges under. He'll throw an upper. He comes in with body blows. He pushes his head into the champion's chest and lays on the punishment. Look at that, mom. That's awesome. That's strong. He's like, move it. This isn't like him. Why isn't the old man saying anything? Does he not see through the acting? acting it looks like even the old man got himself trapped in the spider's web if this lasts into the later rounds Ippo will lose this fight there's the gong round three is over the challenger is showing us more than we'd ever expected and the champion is having a very difficult fight coach is at it again what the hell are you doing stop hitting him so lightly I told you to have confidence and punch him I'm hitting him as hard as I can. I can still feel him on my fist. And the coach is like, then why isn't it working? Are you telling me he's that strong at taking punches? But he fell so easily in round one. I just can't explain. Regardless, if he stands through one punch, then give him two or three more. Hit him enough and he's bound to break. They seem worried in the blue corner. Looks like they've fallen into your trap. We're not even halfway there. You're swelling up. Can you see? And he's like, I've always been hearing Hidebu's voice. Everything from chairs of hope to chairs of sadness. I've heard them all. He's like, I see. Hidebu. Your dad won't run. Seconds out. Hidebu. He's like, watch, Hidebu. There's no way it isn't. So the coach says to Ippo, there's no way it isn't hurting him. Remember your training. Have confidence in your fists. He's like, yes, sir. Right. All I need to do is fight like I train to. I need to remember the thousands of times I've hit the mitts. And round four, both fighters rush out at the gong. The champion attacks first. And an incredible crisp left. Fast. Strong. A one-two. Boom, boom. A heavy right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that punch is scary. This is, this is the feeling. He's like, keep it up, brat. A big follow-up left. Devastating. Hippo is going in. Hippo hits him again. Why? Oh, he saved himself from a down. He almost fell down while blocking. What the hell is this? Is a block useless against his punches? I was like, that's the spirit. If he can get his full rotation in, Senpai's punches can blow through any guard. I don't know what this act you talked about is but you can blow anything away with enough power you don't notice even after what you just said just now you explain the whole trick is that here wait what did you say um wait what what did i say has he finally fallen victim to the champion's power the challenger can't fight back he's on the defensive Every bone in my arm is shaking, but I can take it until I get my chance. He's like, the 
champion continues his vicious charge while the challenger is stubbornly holding on to his guard, but he doesn't seem to care. He continues to land heavy punches over the challenger's guard. He's throwing all of those punches at full power. There's no way to fight back against that, but Take doesn't have the speed to run away. He looks like he'll try to punch in, push in soon. I bet Makanouchi is waiting for that. The challenger still refuses to take his hands off his face. His mask is strong, but the longer he remains defensive, the harder the champion fights. How long will it be before the champion takes the flow of this fight back? Hippo is going full force. I will never let him take control, says Take. Hippo charges in again. And he look, he's like, he showed his face, says the coach. He lifted his guard. Give him a clean shot. This might be a trap. It's like a left. It's like, so dude said, dad, watch out. Watch, Hidabu. Your dad won't run. Yo, that dodge. He dodges under the left. And he gets up into his body again. He's like, he's pushed in, but fine. He was waiting for a wide swing. And with his right, I'll just keep fighting. He is chopping down on the challenger. Hippo got him. Hippo got him. Damn, this dude is tough, man. It's like, it landed. I felt that one clearly. But it's different. This feeling is nothing like how it feels during training. Oh, shit. Man came back with the uppercut again. He's like, ah, an incredible counterattack. Lands on the champion's chin because for some reason, Hippo keeps stopping in the middle of the fight to, to reminisce <laughs> is this challenger immortal coach what in the world is going on spit it out what's the secret to this trick you said it just remember what you said you two still don't get it open your eyes and look at what takesan's done the challenger has taken back control of the fight he is alternating between body and jaw. The champion fights back. Lefts and rights rain, rain down. But the challenger pays no mind. Come on, dad. A close combat battle. The challenger hands moves quickly. The flow of the fighters firmly moved back into the corner. What Take has done, it looks like a normal infight. That's the kind of thing Ippo lives for. But why is he having so much trouble? Senpai should have more speed, have more power. Maybe them body shots are getting to him. You can't see that they are like oil and water. He has some power too. But you really can't see why he's pushing Ippo around. And he's like, when was it? How long have my eyes been clouded over? Is like thinking on it, maybe it was then. Seeing Take Keiichi like that at a weigh in pissed me off. A fight with a crafty boxer, seeing him clinch and his southpaw tactic just accelerated my preconception. I was so focused on it that I could not see what was happening in the infight. What, what is happening? The champion is again attacked at a specialty distance. The challenger has impressive stamina. He's managed to have the brat's power. Have? How did he do that? I'm guessing by... Is that, how could I not see something so simple? He's like, rotation? Right. I was talking about the rotation. Ippo's got no experience punching down. Ah, 
it's ruining his it's ruined his form for someone as short as Ippo having someone under you is rare makes sense in a position like that you can rotate your hips or or lower body it look like he's got power behind the punches but they're dulled the trick is simply to stop Ippo's rotation thinking that he's fighting in his specialty will increase any man's confidence but in the end that's nothing but a blind spot all of the power has been removed from his punches damn that was crazy so he's his rotation is 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 not there ah damn it's like the champion sends a right from up high but the challenger keeps on plugging away as if nothing happened like it but them things were doing dam they were doing damage though regardless they were doing damage so like, it's unbelievable it's breathtaking he really is neutralizing senpai's punches just by charging into his lower body Aoki, is there something on your mind? I hate to say it, but Takesan and I are very similar, I guess. Do you know something, Shinoda-kun? Why don't you spill it already? For a while there, I wasn't really sure, but he just reminds me of our Aoki is all. Yeah, they're very similar in how they fight. Very tricky fighters. It's like, you're right. Take and Aoki are both the same type of fighters. Pretending to be sick before and using the Sapa style weren't just last minute decisions. In order to feed a strong opponent, they're both the type to come up with some plan and bet it all on that. He isn't all that resilient, really. He, res he really isn't all that resilient, really. And it's not like he's got great punches or anything. So that's why he needs to rack his brain so he can tear that belt away. So he decided to find a way to dampen Senpai's power. It really was a bright move. To think that a close range fight was the safest place. The safest place? You know, just to get there, he's got to get past Ippo's up strong punches <laughs> I experienced a close range battle against Imai but I was only able to do it because I knew that my footwork would help me to avoid him Take doesn't have good footwork he was prepared to get hit think you guys would be able to do that would you try to get that close to Ippo with flat feet and have the confidence to fight it out with him hell no no, I bet he's I bet he's not all that confident, but I understand all too well how it goes. The thing that's driving him right now isn't his brain. Like, come on, dad. Yeah, it's his kid, you know what I'm saying? He's like, just grit my teeth and muster all the courage I have. Ippo dodges another one of those uppercuts. It's like the challenger swings upwards, hitting only air. The punch is dodged by a simple shift of the neck. Whoa, despite moving out of the way, he's been nicked and is bleeding below his eyebrow. Ah, oh, this is not good, bro. Got a cut over your eye? Damn, it's like he's cut above his left eye. Get ready to stop the bleeding. Okay, what have I been doing up till now? He's like, I can't see. Uh, Ippo can't see now, you know, blood running into your eye. This is a problem. The champ throws a big swing and the challenger charges for his body. Right, wanna... Let's pause here. Pick back up for another part. All right, welcome back, guys. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. 
The champ throws a big swing and the challenger charges for his bar. Okay. And the challenger waits for the openings to deliver high-low combinations. Unable to see the champion continues throwing out large swings. Stop swinging. You can't see. Just wait out the round. Makarouchi is desperate all of a sudden. Is the bleeding causing him to rush? Not since his debut match has he had... Has he had... While it's common for infighters to get blood in their eyes, often from their heads colliding, Ippo gets swollen a lot. Ippo gets swollen a, a whole lot more. He isn't used to being cut there. This just keeps getting worse and worse. What's up with this match? The more that it goes on, the more senpai is put at a disadvantage. What have I been doing? How could I have missed such a crucial thing? Those brows of Takekichi. They aren't swollen from the fight. They were swollen up like that to begin with. He's been hit there so often that the swelling has never really gone down. <laughs> this man, this man has gotten hit so hard, been getting so hard. It's crazy, bro. Like, how? <laughs> This man's swellings have never gone down. That's crazy. And it's probably gotten to the point where it's permanent now. Those brows are the embodiment of his career as a boxer. <laughs> and the killer barrage from the challenger. The tides have turned and the champions now on the defensive. I must have been blind to miss it. If I'd noticed sooner, then we wouldn't be in this predicament. I've put my boxer into a very dangerous situation instead. This is all my fault. He's like, coach. He's like, I want you to hit me. He's like, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry and hit me. I have no excuses to give the kid. And I won't be satisfied either. He's like, don't even joke about that. Fine. I won't ask you to do it then. Shinoda-kun. <laughs> give me a break here. He's <laughs> like... That was the bell. And round four is over with. Take a good look inside of the ring. Yes, his blood-stained face will tell you the story of this struggle. There's an ominous shadow that surrounds the champ. He's like, is this the end of the line? Will we be crowning a new champion today? Kid, right here, right now, coach. Makanouchi's bleeding, is it okay? Will he be able to continue? He's like, just wait and see. I'll stop it. Huh? I think we should get the doctor to take a look. Yeah, because the doctor could stop the fight. He's like, enough. I said that I stop it. He's like, if the bleeding gets to be any worse, I'll have to stop the match. He's like, coach, huh? I'm begging you. Please stop the bleeding, says Ippo. He's like, Takesan is really amazing. For him to neutralize my punches, he's, he's like, so you've noticed too. Of course you would. No one knows your punches better than you do. He's amazing and he's strong. I still want to fight against him. This cut isn't even bothering me that much. I would absolutely hate it if the referee stopped the match. He's like, that was well said. You don't have to say any more. Just leave the rest of this to me. I still want to fight it out against him. Okay. That's Ippo for you. Respect, man. Respect to Take. He's bringing it. He's bringing it. He's like, I still want to fight it out against him. That was well said. You don't have to say any more. Just leave the rest of this to me. Put your entire body and your spirit into enduring it. And once you've returned, I'll perform my duty to you as your second to its fullest. Sh that kid sure is tough. Now, matter how many punches I throw, I think that's supposed to be no matter, not now matter. God. <laughs> it's like how many punches I throw at him, those legs of his don't budge one bit. What are you talking about? He's barely hanging on right now. <laughs> this man is like, he's barely hanging on? Which fight are you in? <laughs> it's like, ma. Dad's looking this way. 
wave at him. You can win this fight. You just got to take it. It's like, he looks at him, he's like, Dad. <laughs> he gives him a, a cheer. Okay. Keep on watching, Hidebu. I won't run away from this strong champion. I'll come back with the belt. No doubt about it. Don't take your eyes off my back. It's like, okay. That should do the trick. That shouldn't be reopened unless you get hit there. Thank you so much. All right, then. Can you see clearly now? It's like, it's fine. Thanks to you, I can see clearly now. Hit there, then. Hard as you can. But he missed? Did he miss? But I can see just fine. I need to be sure. Hurry up now. We've got no time to waste. Oh, okay, then. Oh, damn, he punched dude in the face. What? He's like, coach, wh why? I'm fine. I'm fine. Now I can finally see clearly, too. <laughs> He's like, now that I'm awake, I've got your orders. Oh, so he took the hit. He moved his hand out of the way on purpose to let Hippo hit him in the face. <laughs> He's like, now that I'm awake, I've got your orders. Listen closely. If you can't pull this off, there's no way that you can win. What the hell was that? Did Makanauchi hit Coach Kamagawa just now? <laughs> I bet it was to raise his spirits. How would it help him with that? Man, what's going on in the red corner? I can't believe the coach withstood that. It was definitely a knockout punch that he took. It's just the old man's way of showing that he's sorry. Sorry? He's finally figured out what Take's been doing, but the real question is, what does he do now? Hey, if the coach knows it, there's nothing to worry about. The coach he's dealt the coach has dealt with hundreds of matches. He's sure to find some countermeasure. You still don't get why Haoki compared Take Kaichi to a spider. Okay. That guy is truly amazing. On just courage alone, he catches his prey in two or three threads. And then before they even realize it, they're already tightly wound. Tightly bound in his web. I wonder how many people have realized it. How many people in this arena really understand what it is Takekichi has been doing? It may look like a reckless infight, but... It's an almost perfect way of defeating Makanauchi. If you think about it, Sendo and Shimabukuro, Shima, Shima the, the boxers who have made him struggle the most, all fought him at close range. He hasn't given up, given in to his opponent's overwhelming power and pressure. He keeps stepping forward, closing the gap to his victory. It's somewhat poetic out of his existing opponents no one has ever dared to get him that close to him but at the same time his punches are only half as effective now what with makanauchi's lower body rotation being killed and all and the biggest threat of all the dempsey roll can't be used bingo it really is a perfect plan it's not perfect in itself though what it all hinges on is that there isn't any strategy to deal with it. Makanuchi's style of boxing is very direct. He's not the type who will go to a person's side and hit them from there. He'll just keep fighting them by attacking head on, even if he knows what Take is doing. Ah, I think I've got it now. Normally, Senpai would be better in a close range fight, but his own style is being used against him. But even if he knows that he's even if he knows that, it's all he's got. He really has been caught inside a web. What are you going to do now, old man? Seconds out. You got that kid? Fight the same way you always do. And he's like, like I always do? You got it. The same as always. Just like you practiced. If your opponent throws a punch, then throw more right back at him. If he moves forward, don't move back off him. 
move ahead even further and get lower. Don't back off. Move ahead further. Seconds out, seconds out. Shut up. <laughs> That's how you've always won. Be confident. Follow that path and get lower. Okay. It's like your device didn't seem too different because this is the this is the thing. He's getting lower than Ippo's. If Ippo gets lower, he might have a chance. If Ippo get if Ippo gets lower, he's gonna be able to to maybe still have his rotation, you know, just from a lower stance. It's just that he didn't figure that out. But hopefully this works. Your advice didn't seem too different from what you've been saying. It'll be just fine. Just is that just is like you're swelling up fast. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this man took one jab from Ippo and now he's like he got a big ass thing on his cheek. It's like you're swelling up fast. I sit down and he's like, thanks. It may just be my imagination, but he appeared to be excited to go back out. He's impressed with Take's experience and well thought out boxing. He must feel like he's working with a coach who will teach him more about infighting, even during a pinch like this one. It's just how the kid is. And if that's the case, then he should learn as much as he can. It's a chance for him to take in Take's knowledge and experience. He'll end this fight with his fists, and that's where the potential for the comeback lies. It's round five. The bell's already being rung, and the champion rapidly fires off his left. Each jabs possesses the raw power of a straight. They're going at it. The challenger's pushed back, but his guard does not fail him. Go for it, Dad. Go for it. Okay, next chapter. All right, flashback, no? One, two, it's so powerful. It sends his guard flying. What's with these punches? Dad was winning just a second ago and now his one punch, is one punch all he needs to take the pace from my dad? He's like, the champ's hands don't stop. They continue to pummel down on top of his guard. It's like throw more right back at him. Don't back off. Don't back off him. Move ahead even further and get lower. It's like my arms are starting to hurt. I can't keep my guard up for much longer. This could be the end for me. He tries to dodge Ippo. The son in the background saying, Dad. He's like, ha, ah. so he's gonna try to push in. Okay, he rushes in and presses past the cannon fire. He's gradually, he's gradually closing in on the champ. This is amazing. Punches like that will normally drive someone away. It's hard to believe he's better off at close range. He's blocking them, but I bet that he's still receiving damage. Doesn't Take feel any pain at all? Does he have no fear? There's no way that he doesn't feel any pain or fear at all. It's just that words strike at your heart. Sometimes that hurts more than being hit. Today, the words run away don't exist in Take Kaichi's vocabulary. Hippo tries to hit him, but he dodged beneath the punches, drives himself into Hippo's body again. He's made it through at last, and now we're back in this familiar situation again. Ah, it's no good. He's closed it yet again. So far, nothing's changed. Maybe the old man's run out of ideas, says Takamura. This is it. I can't rotate anywhere below the waist. All of my punches are neutralized as a result of that. There was this one guy I didn't want to fight. He's remembering what Date said to him. I can understand why Date-san was worried about him now. Take-san's strong. What should I do? I could hit from above, but it'll just end the same way again. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do now? Another uppercut from the challenger. 
Was the champ able to defense against that last one? He dodges. Takesan's punches are still alive. We're in the same position. But why is he able to throw a punch that has rotation on it? Coach. He ducks under and sneaks a body blow inside. The champ's put back on the defensive again. It's the same exact shit. I'm starting to get sick of this. Do something, Makanauchi. Coach. Hmm. Kid. I have to keep moving forward. I have to drop lower. Move forward. He's like, huh? He's like, that's right. We aren't in the same position at all. It's no wonder I can't throw a punch like this. I have to position my head and hips the same way. The same way that Takesan did it. And I should be able to throw that same exact punch. Drop lower. That's a moment for that theme song right there. Like, drop lower. I'm down here with you now, bitch. What you gonna do? What you gonna do now? I'm looking you right in the eyes. Oh my god, he sees Ippo, Ippo coming with the, is he gonna hit him with the, um, the, um, what do you call it again, the, um, the gazelle, ooh, Ippo, get him, ooh, get the fuck off of me, get the hell off of me, my guy, ooh, Ippo hit him with that, uh, you can, <laughs> Rookin, let's go. Um, and it's a uppercut from the champion from a position even lower than the challenger. He strikes upwards. What incredible power! And he's caught against the ropes now. Whoa, this is it, man. We were waiting for this. The champ pursues further forward. Forward. Let's go, Ippo. Let's go. The challenger's back is up against the ropes, and the champion charges in on him. There's nowhere to make a clean escape. What's his plan now? He's like, not in front of my boy. I decided at the very start that I wouldn't run away. He isn't trying to escape. He curls up inside his body and also charges in further forward, lower. Ah, ah, the crowd is going wild. He gets below the challenger. He gets below the challenger. Oh, Ippo is even lower. He's coming. He's getting him with that Hadouken. Hadouken. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. The crowd is going wild. He's hitting him with... The showstopper from Sendo himself is that punch. He's hitting him with that Sendo punch, bro. Who? No, you don't. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god, it's a painful body blow. That's it, kid. Learn from Take. Use his own strategy against him. He's like. Hippo is looking at him and is like, I'm right here, bitch. Lower than you could ever go. It's like, right uppercut. One that throws his arms into the ear. What? The tide's changed again. Makanauchi's making a sudden comeback now. It's a vertical rotation. With his lower body restricted, he's unable to throw a punch from the side with rotation. Says Itagaki. But if he closes in and gets beneath his opponent, then he can throw a punch with vertical rotation. And opponents are one of Senpai's greatest uh, uppercut, are one of Senpai's greatest weapons. It grazes by his cheek. A hair raising uppercut is thrown at the challenger. That was so close. If it had connected, this would be over. Senpai's realized it too. He isn't going to be struggling anymore. Yeah. Take is looking at him. He's like, Take! His coach is trying to call him. He's like, 
is potential. It's out of this world. You damn right. You better put some respect on my boy Ippo's name. It's like no matter how many punches I connect with, Makanouchi keeps coming after me. But for me, I get hit with just one punch and all hell breaks loose. The champion closes in from below. With my own strategy being used against me, the gap between us is clear. He isn't going to let me get underneath of him again. And I'm totally drained out. So now you're going to clinch. Okay. He slides completely over him. What a desperate way to clinch. And Nippo is like, God damn it, dude. <laughs> this, this champ, a monster. What can I do? How do I fight against him? He's like, you suck, Taka. You suck. <laughs> Break them apart. Stalling for time won't matter now. A few more seconds and it will be over. But Take also has a way of ending the match in a few seconds as well. By using Ippo's upper uh, Ippo's cut. Oh yeah, you're right. If his cut reopens, it's possible the match will be stopped due to excessive bleeding. Being a seasoned veteran, he should be looking to take advantage of that. It's like, ah, that's low. It's in no way a dirty trick. It's actually not a dirty trick. It's actually strategy. Um, if somebody gets a cut in 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 boxing, pretty much that's your go-to for everything after that. You're trying to get the, the fight to stop. You're trying to win, do anything to win. It's not illegal, so therefore, it's not a dirty trick. It's it's a strategy. Somebody gets a cut, you got to punish that cut. You got to make that person want to give up too. You know what I'm saying? Man, you keep hitting me in my cut, bro. What, what's wrong with you? You're making this thing look bigger than... <laughs> You know, so it's like, it's in no way a dirty trick. Just another legal way to win the match, okay? So just a single punch could reopen that injury. And when that time comes, it would mean a TKO loss for Senpai from a referee stop. This is a title match with the belt on the line. After all, there's no room for being careless here. If it were me down there, I would go for it without any hesitation. Tagaki is like, this is serious. Separate them. Bring them up, ref. Cornering him might backfire in a situation like this. He could easily aim for his cut now. And he's like, what will you do, Take? It's in the ref's blind spot over here. If I just open the cut with my hands, the match will be over. I'm not holding anything back. How many years... Have I been in the ring because of my desire to win the title? For the sake of for the sake of my son and for my wife, I'm gonna win the title. He's like, Dad, you can do it. Dad, did you really run away? Did you run away from a strong champion, Dad? That's what everybody else saying. Oh damn, what did he do? Damn, he pushed him away. He pushed away Ippo. Oh, damn. He's like, nah, I want to beat you with punches, bruh. He's like, and the challenger has finally released the clinch. But why is he standing there with an open guard? Does he have no place to run or hide? Does he desire to duke it out with the champ? Watch me, Hidibu, and take a good look at my back. I see now, Take. I see. You want Hidibu to watch. And see how it is that you fight. He isn't going for the cut. But why not? Why isn't he? Because that old geezer is a real man. Says Takamura. Um, as I said, it's not necessarily a dirty trick. But I can understand why somebody wouldn't do that. Because it's like, if you open up the cut... You know, it's kind of like you, you know, you feel kind of, you know, if you're any, if you're a person of honor, you're not going to open up that cut because you want a man to beat you with his fist or you want to beat somebody with your fist. It's, it's, a, it's an honorable thing that he's doing, you know, so I respect it. So coach, mm, the hanging dear kid, give it all you've got. Like Takisan, here I go. The champ dashes in and the challenger. Whoa, he moves forward as well. They're going to fight it out head on. They're going to slug it out. 
<laughs> I guess this was the end of the volume, I guess. No, I still got one more chapter to go. That I guess that was the end of a volume. Let's see what they do. Final chapter of this read through. Let's do this. They're going to slug it out. Mm, they're going at it. Okay, simultaneous shots fire. Their faces are blown skyward. Here we go again. They're punching each other in the face. <laughs> Another simultaneous exchange takes place. Uh, the crowd is going wild. The champion quickly takes back the pace with a left and a right. It's like that got to him. He's got the challenger's knees shaking. That one felt right, says Ippo. Boy, taking punches. Ippo takes a left. Ippo takes a left from Take. He gets him back with a clean right hand. The champ wastes no time. This is truly one tremendous bout. They are Going at it here in round five, just under 30 seconds remain. Isn't Take better off dodging them? 30 seconds is still a lot of time. Even if it's just 30 seconds, can he withstand Makanochi's power punches for that long? No way can he fight it out with Senpai for 30 seconds. He can't take it and still be standing. There's no way he'd endure it. I can respect that he's a man's man, but is never but his never say die attitude is going to get him killed they trade punches another time will the balance finally be broken here the challenger is caught on the ropes again you can do it kid mix up some high and low shots low and then high ah it's a double left boom boom what a devastating combo from the champ makanaochi hippo what is effect was it effective says ippo <laughs> what is going on here a punch comes in at ippo he strikes back it's a downward left are you kidding me how can he stand up to that and still fight back no way he's a man without fear don't back off keep hitting in front of you what a tough boxer oh yes he's a tough boxer he's charging in with a combination it's as if he has no fear of the champ's power this is just it's too cool with this kind of fight we're getting more than our money's worth you're damn right go for it take show us what you're made of take 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 <laughs> they're calling for take like a take call comes despite it not being his home turf the brave challenger ignites the building Take, 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 take. <laughs> it's like, Dad, you're amazing. But no matter how many good hits I land, he still fights back. He's strong. He's strong in both body and spirit. Now it's the champ's turn. You can do this. You won't lose in a punching exchange. Makanauchi, Makanauchi. And the electricity in the hall is raised to a higher voltage makanauchi 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 take 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 <laughs> but things are even hotter inside of the ring it's a hail of devastating punches i know he's desperate but still it's really dangerous to get hit by so many of senpai's punches even so, he'll continue to fight back, and Hippo won't be backing down either. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to stop here. I know some of you guys said, just finish the fight, man. No, 10 chapters. Just know that I'm going to put, I'm going to do this more often because it's only 10 chapters. The chapters are not that long. I had forgotten about that. And also, I'm, I have to do Berserk. Um, after this, and Berserk is a lot, it's a lot more meaty when it comes on to reading, um, especially now in the manga where everything is kind of slowed down. So I have to go and react. 
and do that reading now um, after I get something to eat, of course. But of course, um, for all you guys that are watching this on the Google Drive early, make sure that when the YouTube version comes out, you go ahead and watch the review. OK, um, go over there and watch the review to help support um, the stuff that are still on the YouTube. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys for staying sticking with me. I'm hoping that Ippo pulls this one through. It looks like he will. Of course, thank you guys once again. And make sure you go to YouTube to check out the review when that comes out. See you guys then. All right. So Ippo. <sighs> Chapter 6. 41 to 650. Very, very entertaining fight going on right now. I miss Ippo. I did. I did miss Ippo. And I have to say, it is not disappointing me. This fight is very incredible. I think Ippo will pull this off. Um, it's not going to be a long review. Um, I think Ippo will pull this off. Take is a beast. Respect to him if he loses this fight. Respect to him. Um, respect even if he wins, man, like, you know what I mean? For him to be able to take so many of Ippo's punches, I think maybe Ippo is going to have to break him off with a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He's probably going to have to break him off with the, Dem with the Dempsey roll to finish him off. I think that's the only thing that could possibly stop Take right now because he's, take he's taking Ippo's normal blows very good and fighting back based on you know, whatever has been going on, you know, whatever drives him, he's got that motivation and that's why he's not backing down. And that's why I have to put some respect on this guy's name because he is standing up to, to Ippo, which is something that we've seen a couple of opponents do before, but not to this level. You get what I'm saying? Not to this level where he will basically put himself in danger of getting knocked out by driving into Ippo and he had, he had some strategies. It don't, doesn't look like he has anything else left to try. Um you know so it was it was a very good strategy that Ippo came up with getting lower. Um he got from the coach you know from getting lower this man got so low, I think his chest was touching his knees, <laughs> you know. I mean, it was crazy how low he got to get up with that. I do okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got him, man. It was like I was watching Street Fighter. <laughs> it was like he was got so low. <laughs> you know, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff, man. Entertaining stuff. Love Hajime no Ippo, man. One of my favorite series of all times watching or reading man great great stuff anyways that is all i have to say it was just the fight it was entertaining hopefully you guys loved my reaction of it this read through if you like it make sure you leave a like on this video and also leave a comment in the comment section would really appreciate you guys letting me know how much you appreciate this manga um and appreciate the show on a whole coming from the anime and stuff like that appreciate you guys love you guys man and you know and yeah subscribe if you're new uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> all right thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all man i'll see you guys next time peace give my throat a break okay and then i have to go do berserk now <laughs>